Welcome back. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services, helping you turn an audience into participants. And one way to do that, if it's around the holiday season or another time of the year when you are getting together online, having creating virtual backgrounds can be a fun activity. Um, it there are a few details I'll give you and tips uh, about that in this video, but I'm going to show you how to create your own or download a template through Canva and how to upload the video in Zoom so that if you need to send this video uh, to your group of how to do this, if this is an activity that you want to plan ahead of time, you can use this as their tutorial as well. So this is a, a two part within one uh, video and I will include the chapters below as well here in the video portion uh, so that you could skip ahead or replay um, a section as well. Additional details are in our blog, podcast version as well um, and and we appreciate so much for you to like share comment and subscribe it um, helps the algorithm in this channel so we can connect these great videos with more people just like you so let's jump in all right S share screen i'm going to show you first of all here in canva that there are a whole bunch of templates that you can pick from for virtual backgrounds, holiday, you know, um, type, and you can type in other holidays as well uh, for different versions, or it could be more professional corporate, depending on what you want. So there's a lot of options. Some of them might um, you know, even have some moving aspects too. That's an option in um, in Zoom too. So, or in Canva. So in Canva, you just have to type in, you can type in Zoom virtual background. You could type in any other word that you want and, um, and options will come here as well. And then you can pick your background. Um, I will pick, let's see festive let's see what comes up and um, I can pick this as my template and you can change the words um, as well right here just in uh, you can have your organization name or delete that all together could be your family name your corporation you can add a logo you can move these around this is great um, to have templates already you can also start with your own um, option here so you and if you wanted to make it a video option you could look that up too with videos or virtual backgrounds, they do pull more internet. Uh, so if you have a very unstable internet, not great strength um, or having issues, then you might wanna turn that off. With a virtual background as well, and I will uh, turn on one for, for me right now as well. The um, If you hold up something over to the side, it will disappear. So if you're trying to share something like your festive mug, you want to put it up in, in front of you. And important to hydrate. All right. So you can change the words. This is a template from Canva as well. But let's just say, let's see what comes up. So there's different videos here. Um, and that can be a virtual background as well. Let's see, there was a fun one last year. Somebody baking. And that's another thing. If you have a, um, a webcam, I have a little cover on it. If I put that down, the, and if I had a video background, it would just make myself disappear. So let's just take a look. Let's use this one, see what it looks like. Uh, that could make someone dizzy. Oh, this one, this was so cute. Complete with sound. So, <laughs> so cute. So it can be a card too. Um, you can create so, so many. So I'm gonna just do that so that I can see the whole thing. So you may even wanna make that over to the side 
Um, and right now I'm going to download it. I'm going to pick that one and then I'll upload it into my background in just a moment. But you can create here in, uh, in Canva. And now I'm going to show you how to upload into uh, Zoom as well. So here in Zoom, right at the bottom left, where you would stop your video and start your video, there's a little arrow or carrot right beside it. You open that up, that's where you pick your webcam or camera. You also pick your virtual background here and virtual filter. Um, so I'm just going to show you here. Once you click virtual filters or background, it will bring you into this box setting. Here are the video filters. There's also festive options like this, which is quite cute. And um, this is also where you will find additional options. So when you click there, the little arrow and go to v video or virtual backgrounds. You have the option for blurring. You can um, go back to none. You can pick some of the presets that are here. There's even some video options as well. And if you have something uploaded, you can click that um, and choose it. So I'm going to show you how to add with the little plus line in the top right of this section here with video filters. Um, you are video backgrounds. You have both options here in this section. Um, and you also don't want to click if you don't have a, uh, a green screen and you don't want to pick the mirror image because that will flip the words and people won't be able to read it. Here over to the right are some studio effects as well. If you're not wearing lipstick and you want to do that. So there's some fun things, but just always remember to turn it off. Um, as well. And we will get back to the plus sign here for adding a virtual background. All right, plus sign to the um, up, up sort of middle right here, add image. And then you might have it in your downloads. You can select that. So I'm just going to pick what's there. Um, and once you double click it, it will automatically add it and put it into your back background. Now I have it double, so I'm just going to X here. The little X uh, comes up and I can delete um, anything that I want to delete from here. Plus sign to the video. If you have a moving background, that's what you need to click. Uh, and then you can move, oh, I'm moving over to the side so you can see the full little cute video with the gingerbread person, but there is no sound. So um, you want to keep that in mind as well. Thanks for joining me in this holiday edition, festive virtual backgrounds, how to create them and how to upload them in Zoom so that maybe you can use this for an upcoming meeting, festive holiday, seasonal party, get together for a a contest or just for fun. You can also send one that you've created to everyone uh, for your group and enjoy this. You can also not make it festive and have other backgrounds as well and use this in different ways for welcoming new hires um, with your your process at your organization and or for a birthday party to celebrate anniversary or retirement. There's many ways that you can use virtual backgrounds. Thanks for joining me. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services, helping you turn an audience into participants with engaging online learning experiences. Thanks again.